Well, we've come to our final video on this series of why the Bible is my authority. Now, the last time we looked at two things that the devil tries to do to the truth. And we remember that he cannot destroy the truth because forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in the heavens. And that's a wonderful thing to hang your hat on is that the devil cannot destroy the truth. But he does do two things. He infiltrates and he incarcerates. We were looking at the incarceration of the truth the last time. And it's very prevalent in our society in America today where secular government, local government, and also the local church are now kicking out God and exchanging the truth for a lie. We see that the Ten Commandments are being taken out of our courtrooms. We're seeing that prayer has already been taken out of our schools. And in the church today, we see that the, the, the doctrine of the authority of the Word of God is very rapidly going by the wayside. And friends, we can't let that happen. And you know, at the end of the tribulation period, or right there in the middle part of the tribulation period, we see the manifestation of this, uh, this incarceration of the truth. As we pick it up in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 8-12, through 12, it says, And then shall that wicked one be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them a strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. At the, in the tribulation period we will see this incarceration in its full manifestation, when people who have disregarded the truth, have rejected the truth of the love of God, that truth will be exchanged for a strong delusion, if you will, that God will give them a strong delusion, a lie. They, the truth will be exchanged for a lie. And many, most of the people of that time will receive the mark of the beast, and they will be damned when they do that. And friends, that's a very, very terrible picture of that tribulation period. So what are we to do today? What are we as the church of God to do? What are we as Christians, preachers, and laymen? What are we to do today? Well, one thing we are to do is to preserve the Word of God for future generations. We are to preserve the doctrine of the authority of the Word of God for our future generations. And that is very important because, again, as we've said before, once we lose that doctrine, in time we will lose them all. And friends, our children deserve a better fate than that. Our grandchildren deserve a better fate than that. But most of all, the Lord Jesus Christ deserves better from His children. We must preserve the Word of God. And that is very important. And even though in this day and age we're seeing the enemy coming in like a flood, we see in Isaiah 59, 19 that there is a war for truth that is going on. And God has His standard of truth that He's raising. In Isaiah 59, 19, we see, When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise up His standard against them. And His standard is the integrity, the authority of Scripture. You know, when you look at the old Civil War battles, you saw that old flag bearer that would bear the flag of the Union or Confederate Army. And when that flag bearer was shot down, he would plant that flag in the ground and someone else would come and raise it up and march forward keeping the standard high friends the spirit of god today is raising his standard his standard of truth which is the bible and he's asking you christian friend to take that standard and lift it high holding forth the word of life Friends, we need to do that today because this world that we're living in is in darkness. 
And they need that marvelous light of the Word of God. And it's our duty, it's our privilege to carry that standard of truth. And may I ask you today, are you taking up that standard of truth? Do you love your Lord so much that you'll carry it no matter what? No matter what persecutions may come, and they will come if, the, if, if our world continues to go down the slide that it's going, and our country continues to go on the downgrade, it will happen. Will you be willing to suffer for Christ? Suffer for the Word of God, for the, the future generations that will come along? I ask you, when the Lord comes back in rapture, Will he find you holding the standard of truth? Or will he see you tucking tail and running? My friend, we're in a battle. And we need to be prepared to fight. And we need to do all that we can to stand on the authority of Scripture. Even to the death, if that's what God calls us to do. My friend, God calls us to lift up that standard. What will he find you doing when he comes back in the clouds? Holding forth the word of life? Or holding a yellow streak up and down your back? It's important to preserve the integrity and the authority of the word of God. That, my friend, is a hill to die on. So until next time, preachers and laymen unite on the authority of the Word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Amen.